Hey pond peeps, got something a little bit different going today for you. We're gonna do a how to find and fix a leak in a pondless waterfall. Now, this is a typical call we get. Very standard, very traditional. Shots to the pond man, bro, right here. Let's go. Okay, here's this pondless waterfall. You can see the neat little statue in the middle of it. Very typical, very standard, a few years old. You can notice we've got water here in the bottom. I asked a customer last week if they could fill the basin up with water and monitor it to see if the level goes down. Okay, the customer verified that the water level in the bottom does not move. This tells me that the leak is not in the bottom, it's in the waterfall itself. This is typically the most common place for the leak and it's the first place we'll start looking. And I'll show you how we do that. We can see we're looking here, we can see some liner that's showing generally where the leaks are, are on the edges. The liner will be under the rocks along there and the same thing on that side, right along there. Now we're gonna turn the waterfall on and we're gonna uncover the liner, starting at the bottom and going all the way up, both sides, starting at the bottom, going up, and we're gonna verify the water is not going over the side. Generally what happens through the years with rain, with people walking on it like I just did, the rocks along the sides get pushed down or washed down because the ground will get soft and the heavy rocks push it down. This is nothing major. We're gonna see if that's what's going on here. Okay, it's plugged in. I hear the pump flowing. Let's see, it's filling up. There we go. So I'm gonna let it run for a little bit and then I'll start going along the edges, uncovering and pulling up the rocks after it flows for a little bit here. Okay, it's been running about five minutes. I'm gonna check this thing to see if, it, if I can find that leak. I'm gonna start pulling the rocks aside, the gravel, the rocks. See, it's okay to see water. There's nothing wrong with that as long as the water stays inside the liner. Look at that right there. And right over the back side of that. Yep, so. Now I'm just going to temporarily lay a rock behind it to hold it up. Okay, so now see now the water's going over the side there. So I'm going to just keep going up. Now up in here is rare, because see here, it's above the water level, so it's rare the water would get over to this edge in here. But it's still possible. See this back in here is lower than the actual waterfall there. So it's highly possible that it comes back this far, but it doesn't seem to be doing that but I'm still gonna open it up. See, luckily what they've done, they've got this rock leaning far enough forward that the water goes that way instead of back here. Cause it's pretty dry down here. See, there's water, but it stays down low and doesn't go over the edge. But that doesn't mean it doesn't go over the back of that big rock. So I'm gonna uncover it and see what's below it. Okay, I've pretty much uncovered that whole side. So now I'm going to start on this side. You saw how easy and quick it was to uncover it? It just takes a little bit longer than that to replace it back. So I'm going to start moving these rocks. I'm going to start in this area because this is about level. This would be my leak point. I doubt very much if it's down here because it would leak into the basin if it's leaking here. Okay, what I've done is I've pulled away the liner. You see, I can see this is dry all the way up to here and then on back to there. So. I'm not too worried about it around here. I'm going to disassemble a little bit more, playing around some of the rocks and the rock liner, see if I can find anything that looks bad. I'm thinking I'll go up to the top, uncover that, just to verify there's nothing going over that side in there. So I'll pull these out here, and then I'll just look underneath them and see if it's wet. It can dry, and then under the liner itself, it's dry. So I think we're good back in this corner. Check that out, that's a beauty. Okay, I'm fairly confident I got the leak over there on the left-hand side. We'll let this thing run, I think we're good. That's nice. Looking back here. Nice little pondless waterfall. Good morning, pond peeps. 
check this out. This morning, we're doing a pond remodel. We seem to do a lot of remodels lately. We take existing older ponds that aren't functioning or something's not quite right with them and we upgrade them, make them work and make them beautiful works of art. Check this one out. Really cool backyard here. A lot of succulents, a lot of dry weather plus wet weather plantings going on here. But this is the pond. It obviously hasn't functioned for a long time. We got a skimmer underneath these flagstones somewhere under there. And this hole is full of river rock. We're gonna dig that all out. We've got a bio falls over here. We're gonna install a new one and raise it and put it there. We're gonna put another one right there. So this pond will actually have two waterfalls. One over here and one over here. And it'll all go into a new skimmer down here. We gotta dig it out, clean it out, reshape it, replant it, put lights in here, make this thing nice and pretty. Check this out. Double waterfall, listen to that sound on this thing. You see she's experimenting, putting her plants around there, going to figure out what's going on. Beautiful pondless waterfall out of this. We're getting ready to do some planning, trying to figure out where things are going to go. Uh-huh. We had a little party. It was finished last night. Had a little party with wine and food. and. So you're already breaking it in. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Going to have another <laughs> one tonight. I think you guys are going to get a lot of wear and use out of this. Oh, Listen, we were out here freezing to death last night. <laughs> We've got blankets where you just sit out here and listen to it. It's fabulous. And you've already got neighbors checking it out? Oh, yeah. The neighbors were here last summer. And then we're going to have another group tonight. And then, you know, <laughs> we get them all in there. And then my bridge group. Yeah, it's beautiful. Susan, what do you think about the guys and their ability to pick the right rock? Unbelievable. They pick every rock. They turn it. They move it. They look at it, if it doesn't work, it's out. I, we have watched this like it's been a puzzle the entire time. It's been fascinating, absolutely fascinating. And you'd recommend these guys oh my again? God, get a sign, put it in my yard. What's the matter with you? <laughs> They're wonderful. I mean, really, this is beyond anything we imagine. My neighbors next door have been coming over from the very beginning. They're going, I'm just, I just can't believe it. This, it's just stunning. I asked Coco one thing. Well, here's kind of, I showed him something on mm -hmm. the internet. I said, this is kind of what I had in mind. He said, well, mine's going to be so much better. <laughs> <laughs> I said, okay, I'm out of here. I'm not going to say another word. That is the typical attitude, and I'm so happy that you're happy with it. Oh, my God. It brings tears to my eyes. It's stunning. I can't wait for other people to see it because they're going to be screaming. This is just. Unbelievable. Okay, guys. Okay, now we have to talk about this. You know, guys, every once in a while, people or nature throws you a curve. This job started out as a pond rebuild. And in the middle, about 30 in actually, Susan decided she wanted a pondless. No problem. The guys flipped on a dime. They did an amazing job on this thing. They built a beautiful pondless waterfall without throwing a wrinkle in their job or their system or their routine at all. They did a great job. Let me show you this. Pond peeps, good morning. Here we are at a brand new project. New customer, new home, new pond. Everyone's a little different and this one's the same. It's different also. Okay guys. Originally, they were going to put a hot tub or a spa in this hole. They changed their minds for whatever reason, but now we're going to convert it and make a pond or waterfall out of this thing. Let me show you what we're going to do. There's our hole, and there's our supplies. We're going to put a skimmer in this corner, a bio falls up there, and we're actually going to put a jet over on this side to give us water flow towards the skimmer. There's the entire kit. There's the hole. We'll show you how all this comes together. I told you I'd show you the next step on this pond. Started out as a hot tub hole, a jacuzzi hole. Let me show you what the guys did to this thing. What do you think? Look at that. Look at that. Got a little resting area there for the dog to hang out on. Skimmer, waterfall, plants. Give this thing two days. It'll look like it's been there six months. That's the kind of stuff my guys do. The Pond Man crew know what they're doing. They do it fast. They do it clean. They do it good. Hey, Anthony, what do you think? Beautiful. Shots to the Pond Man, bro, right here. Let's go.